Welcome to the Dave Show. My name is Dave, and today I'm here to talk about this 18 inch LED clock. This thing is really cool and very pretty as well. Now, the company did send me this product for review, but they wanted me to show you what it is and how it works. So, let's take a closer look at this LED clock. Okay, inside the package, you are going to get an instruction manual, and you're definitely going to need this to uh, figure out how to set this whole thing up, but it's pretty simple. Um, I will show you a lot of that here, anyways. And you're going to get a ruler. Now, this here is not just a ruler to measure things because uh, that's not what it works for, but this is for the mounting holes. Now there are holes on the back of this where you can mount this up on a wall, and this gives you a guide, a template, to be able to do that correctly, which is nice, and also a remote control, and this remote control does a lot of things here. I will show you some of the details of this here in just a minute. Let's go ahead and take a look at the clock itself. Um, over here you can see there's a, well, there's an AM and PM, uh, there is a um, DST, which is Daylight Standard Mode, um, it's time zone, it's, it's for the time zone thing, you know what that is. Uh, of course, then you have your clock, and we have a temperature over here, a uh, humidity, the, um, uh, the date, so the month and day, and also the actual day of the week here is listed on that. Now, there's also other little different things. This is inside temperatures, not outside temperatures um, on there, but uh, really cool. Now, you can change the Fahrenheit to Celsius as well if you are in that mode. You can also switch this around where you can go the actual day and then the month if you want to, and you can make this a 24-hour clock as well. Okay, looking at the back of the unit, you have your mounting holes here that I was telling you about before. You do have a stand as well, so you do not have to mount this on a wall. You can put this up on a counter, a shelf, or anything like that. No problem at all. Um, starting down here, there is a brightness adjustment, so low or high, and then also auto, because there's a little detector up here, I don't know if you can see it, it's pretty small, uh, that will detect the actual light in the room, and if you have it on auto, it will adjust that part of it. Now here is the, um, you open this up, the battery compartment, well there's a, your plug-in, so you do get a cable, a plug-in cable. Um, and this one is probably about six feet or so. So if this is up on a wall, you have to make sure you have a plug-in available to it. Um, and then there are some batteries here. Now the batteries, this does not work off the batteries itself. It's actually just as a backup to keep the time and the date and everything. Because if I unplug this and then plug it back in, all the date and time, everything is kept um, on there. So this is basically is a memory type battery compartment. Um, you can also, this is a cord storage, so if you want to move this someplace, you can put your uh, your charger and battery, you know, cart, your charger cable up in here. Uh, very simple and easy to do. It just routes in through this way, or you can even make it a uh, turn the corner and tuck it in like that so it comes out the side. Okay, look at the buttons here on the side. Now this is all your controls. You have a snooze button because it does have an alarm in it. You can set the alarm. Uh, and you also have your timer set, um, timer hours, uh, 12 to 24, there's a plus and minus. You your Celsius, your Fahrenheit, an alarm set. Again, there's an alarm. And there's also a timer here, which you can set this up to do a countdown timer or a count up timer. So if you're using this ginormous clock for like a workout clock, you can have a workout clock uh, use the timer, or you can also do this like if it's in the kitchen, if you have a kitchen cooking timer. You can do all your stuff here as well. Very nice. Now what's one nice is I'm going to show you this this um, uh, remote control is you can also set the things on the remote control, which actually is kind of a lot easier. So you have on off button, color switch. I'll show you what that does here in a minute. Um, you're set. So you're, you're setting everything. Alarm set. Uh, enter, exit, your timer your Celsius, Fahrenheit, your 24 or 12 hour timer. Again, there's a plus and minus on that. Timer reset, um, hours, minutes, seconds, timer set, standard, whatever. And then over here is your volume controls because this actually has, with the alarm, it has chimes. I will show you the chimes as well, which is kind of cool. And then you have your brightness adjustments here as well. Okay, now looking at the clock here again, um, so you have an on off button, so now if you don't want that on, you can turn that on off. And I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the, the thing here. So now the color switch, what's nice is this has different color options. So as you can see, um, that you know that first one was changing colors. This one also changes colors a little different way. So each each number is a different color. Um, here it's kind of split. You can see, and it's just kind of rotating through some different colors. Here's kind of your greens, blues, and purple colors. And then you could do solid colors. So if you want all red, you can do that. Green, blue, yellow, purple. 
another bluish or this one here okay this is changing colors but it's all one color but it cycles through all the colors and then back to the multi-colored situation okay so now this has an alarm like i said before what we're going to do is hit the alarm set button there we go and it says alarm one now this has three different chimes to it but it looks like the alarm uh it's only going to use one this particular one here now you can change the volume of that if i hit it So you can turn it down or turn it up. Then just hit the set button. Now this one here is you can turn this on or off. So it's the, the minus button or the plus button, either one you can do it. Then turn it on or off. So you can turn it on or off and then hit the set button again. And you can change the time. You can do the plus and minus to set the time. Again, it's AM. All right, so now this one here is for the, um, the um, you can do once every day, or we can do, the next one is Monday through Friday, and then number three is Saturday and Sunday. So it depends on how you want your alarms, you can set those that direction as well. And then it goes back to the normal thing. So again, this thing does a lot of stuff. There's a timer set up and all that kind of stuff. I'm not gonna go through every single feature and function of it and how to do it and how to set it up, but it works very simple. Very easy with the remote, or you can use the um, the little controls on the back as well. Uh, pretty pretty nice. Um, well, this one here, I, I ended up changing this um, uh, by mistake. Change that by hitting the C, the C and F Celsius. So I can uh, change it back to uh, Fahrenheit um, for the temperature. It's hot in here. But anyways, um, that is uh, how to use this clock. So there you have it, a detailed look at this LED clock. It is really cool. If you are looking for a very large clock that does all these kind of features, this one may be the right one for you.